Hi everyone, I've come to show you my um, album that I'm working on. It's, I've called it Curtain Call, but I'm very much a person who likes to combine all their papers into their albums. And so I usually pick out a base paper and then add to it from all my stash, which all of us have, and then I create an album. This is an, an album style that was designed by um, Kathy Orter, so a big shout out to her. She's magic with paper, magic with design, and I've based this on how she did her albums. It's not complete yet. It's, um, I've only just started, but I wanted to show you my progress because I've been without my camera for a while and haven't done any videos, which is a shame because everybody's been telling me that I should be. So it's curtain call, wonderful paper, and I'll take you through what I've done on the album so far. I'll show you more about the structure of the album near the end. I'll just show you some of the bits and pieces and how it's designed at the moment. Throughout the album, I like to put things, things that you can explore and have fun with. This is just a tag I've done um, with different bits and pieces. Use Donna Salazar's stamps on it. Tim Holtz inks, Prima Flowers, big mix up, um, Tim Holtz fragments. But I also like to mix up um, the things I do in there. So this is actually also somewhere where you can journal, put photos, um, and I like them to be pretty. I like a few um, feathers, some people don't, but I think they're gorgeous. Make my own little stick pins and put them in there. So here we go. Um, the, the design of the album, like I said, is, is Kathy Waters, and it makes for an extremely strong album if you use the right products in it. Um, this paper is actually one of, um, I think it's the Seven Gypsies King's Cross, and I have changed it up to match into my album, and I've used antique linen and tea dyed distress inks just to change the colours of it. I love black and white papers because I can change them into anything I want. So the album is constructed, so you've got a pocket here and a pocket here, and then you can pop your bits and pieces in either way. You can also, you've also got a pocket here. So you, that's where I like to put lots of photos because they can be protected by the rest of the album, and then you can go to town with your decorations and not worry that they're going to be dented. So it folds out like this and up like this to give you this type of spread. And again, you've got all those pockets. You've got pockets here. You've got the pocket in the end. You've got pockets here. You've got a little pocket here. And then you can put your bits and pieces in it. Um, I've used a lot of the Seven Gypsies metal page edges through it. They give it so much strength and they're just fun to work with. And so I've used them on the page edges and in a lot of places like here on the edge of these um, little pullouts that I've put in there where you could actually mat that if you wanted to. Or And I put little areas on the back here where you can journal or again, play around with, do what you want with them. Um, and I always like to highlight different bits and pieces with the range of glossy accents, love that stuff. And up here I've decorated again, cut out, fussy cut out bits from the papers, coloured them up and just stuck them down. Used a bit of uh, Claudine Helmick's matte accents to, to stick them down and glossy accents to highlight them and colour them up a bit because I do like a little bit of colour. I've also cut out shapes like this, put on the Prima flowers, blinged it up a bit, nothing like a little bit of bling and coloured these up which, so they can be used for photos, for journaling, whatever you like. I think they're fun and they all, all the papers come from that curtain, curtain call um, book. So I did that one. Um, again, a bit of playing around with glossy accents and colouring. Um, I'll talk about the gussets at the end. These are actually made out of leather so because I like really strong books but I'll show you that in the structure of the book. Another page, same pocket system. Again, seven gypsies paper combined with a curtain core, combined with um, coordinations, which I absolutely adore. 
I love all the sanding, I love the effects you can get with it. When you grunge the edges. We have some Tim Holtz film strip ribbon here. He's just magic with his products, I adore them. And these are his, his new uh, words, I, I can't recall the name of them. This one says Journey, I've made a little pocket out of it. Done a little work with crackle accents. Um, again, you've got the pull out in there and you um, have got on the reverse, you've got a place for journaling to do what you want. Again, the middle page edges. Uh, these journaling notes actually come from the um, Prima range of journaling notes. Um, they have little boxes full of the different um, design papers they have, but they make fabulous places on the back of these because you could use this for a photo as well. It's great. And on the back of this, this is lots of fun. I couldn't resist this die. It's gorgeous. Um, it's this one, one of his new ones. I'll show you. It's um, the jalopy. Who could resist that? It's absolutely gorgeous. Here's another one that I've, I've played with and made. Um, and I've actually used leather on this one to cut it out and 10 Second Studio Metal to design it. Um, little watch parts and and these are actually some of Tim Holtz um, domes. I, th I don't think that's the name of them but they're in his range. Um, I've also stamped on this one, one, used one of his stamps to texturize it. Use some of the Distress embossing powder down here to make the road. Um, used some of his packaging here on the back and put a little bit of the silver alcohol ink there to make the reflection in the windows and create it. I just love them. I think they're just gorgeous. So much fun. Great for guys' cards and guys' albums and and I'm a girl but I'd love to have it. Um, and his words, his cutouts of his words are just gorgeous. A lot of people have looked at these. Uh, they're in the movers and shapers dies and said they can't work them out. Just focus on the dark areas and you'll be able to see the words beautiful words great words to use and you'll see where I've used it somewhere else and in, in, in the album like I said this is nowhere near finished I've got so much work to do on it um, this is another tag I've put in there because uh, it just goes so well with the theme of the music and the film and um, and I've just got tags out of my collection that I'll just pop in and um, put them in there for somebody to enjoy when they find them Next page, a little bit um, mixed up the colours a bit because I enjoy them so much. Um, love all the old movies, so I just love these images that they've got in, in the Graphic 45 papers. And it goes so well with Tim Holtz's Lost and Found papers. They're just sensational. Um, and then a film strip ribbon, again the leather. I've actually embossed this leather, um, which you can do because Tim's... Um, embossing folders are so give you such good detail that if you lose, use leather on them and I've just buffed it up here with a little of the um, metallic rub-ons that you can get just to highlight the words so that they really show out um, and it just it, it, it gives you lots of give lovely for the album made this is again these aren't actually attached but I'm going to put them in there for some of Prima's new uh, leaves made out of satin ribbon with little roses on, gorgeous. Um, and I've got the curtain call papers again, another place for journaling, um, photos, and I've just tied it with chul, because chul is absolutely beautiful and makes a lovely little bow, even if you don't know how to tie bows. Again, glossy accents around the place, so that's great. If I go too fast for you, I'm sorry, there will be some photos at the end so you can if you're interested you can just look through those this is another little fold out that I've made this is actually making memories um, like a page page mark I can't remember what it's called again I've used those metal page edges here from seven gypsies uh, just sanded them up so that the little dots on the scallops showed up and in here I've pinched things out of my stash so that I can um, use them up because that's what you do this is actually crafty secrets uh, one of their um, pads that they have uh, what do they call those i can't remember now um oh journal notes that's right 
and I've cut cut them out. They have beautiful images in them, old-fashioned, gorgeous. Put some roses on the side. Put some ribbon on there, and on the back, these are double-sided notes. So on the back, uh, it's either journal notes or some of their cutouts. I can't remember which. Um, this one has has got a place already for journaling. A little bit of prima lace, tiny key and looks sweet. This is some of uh, Prima's new lace as well. Another little one that I found in my stash. I've actually stamped it with Tim Holtz's um, Papillon stamp there just to, just because I like it. I really like that stamp set. And it just closes up and it fits in here. And there's lots of other places, obviously, lots of other things I've got to do on that page. Uh, I don't know whether you can actually see it on here, but I've actually used one of his stamp sets, which I, on here and it, sometimes it's all about being subtle and I don't know that you can see that but um, and I've just put it on there and I've clear embossed it I'm very much a tactile person so I like to touch and feel things and um, so I often have bits like that through the book just so I can play around with them and have fun with it. I think that oh yeah this is the one this is the set it's from you'll see it in more detail later on gorgeous it's Fancy Flourishes by Stampers Anonymous, part of Tim Holtz's collection. Oh, here it is here. Quick. So there you see I've done it on, his, on some of his paper, metal page edge again. And this one opens up again like this. And I'm sorry if I go out of frame because this is quite a big album. It's not a very mini, mini. It's quite large. Um, up the top here, I have also done another one this has got dreams it's another one of his smooths and shapers word dies um, used um, the images on there it's actually got a twinkle on it I don't know whether you can notice that um, where I've actually used some of Donna Salazar's um, sprinkle on there it's gorgeous stuff she's got it in like a, uh, um, a salt and pepper shaker it's a glass one it's really cute uh, again you've got the pull out and you've got journal notes and you can actually fit two in here uh, but I have, I've just used the one and you can actually also mount a photo on the back of there if you would like um, so that's cool that's um, Dusty Addicts I love all their laser cuts all their, their laser cut I think they're like a chipboard heavy chipboard wood type material and they do lots of intricate cutouts you can see it again down here where I've just colored it up um, so that's that one uh, this is another one that I've done again the papers in the background uh, moments gonna uh, use one of his stamps here which I've got to say I love this stamp here it is one of his new ones um, it's par, it's called air travel but it's got this fabulous map on it um, and guess what? New Zealand's on it. We're not part of Australia. Everybody thinks we're part of Australia. We're not. We're a long way from Australia. And we're actually there, right there. I love it. So that's that one. And over the side, I have made one that looks a little bit like a suitcase. You've got your journaling spot that goes in here or your photo that goes in the pocket there. And then you've got this little pull out. Um, I think that's one of the Prima New Trinkets. This paper is one from Making Memories um, collection. Metalik, I think that one's from. And uh, some of these ribbons are actually, um, you'd think they've got a very seven gypsy look, but they're actually Prima and from, from some of the older collections. And again, see this is actually a little pocket here. And metal page edges and papers that just tone in so it adds to rather than takes away from the curtain core papers so those are those ones over we go again oh i've also used some of making memories ribbons on the edges of the leather inserts here and here because it just they just sit in there really nicely 